need to make another free one-shot kit. I promised it. But it needs to be fire. What do you need to make a fire one-shot kit? Maybe you need a real guitar. Maybe another real guitar. Yeah, but there's something missing. Other real guitars. What the f are you doing? What is good, you beautiful bastards? Paul Fix here. Two videos in three weeks. That's amazing. This isn't even my final form. Bet you didn't expect that. Today, I have a new free one-shot kit for you. I'm here in the flash to preview my new free one-shot kit, contact one-shot kit. But before I show you the free one-shot kit, in the last video, I briefly mentioned that I launched a new section of my website, which is called blogs, in which I write about stuff. What are the best free drum kits? Where you can find free loop kits? This week's list is about one shot kits. So check it out. Link in the description. Here's the kit. In this kit, you can find bass, bells, flutes, guitars, keys, synths. Come on, everything you need in order to make a fire beat. I have it. I got you. I'm thinking about making like a hard melody. I haven't made a hard melody in like two months. But I'm gonna try. And I'm gonna try for you. A lot of these sounds are actually like real sounds, like real instruments. So thank me later, baby. You don't have to thank me, but if you want to leave a comment, like the video and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Enough with the bull first thing first, highlight the scale that you want to use. In my case, I think I'm going to go with uh, F sharp minor. Make sure that you copy in the like sampler thing so that you don't have an actual sound going on. Otherwise, it's a freaking mess. Three hours later. All right, I think I'm gonna fast forward the process of me making a loop. Otherwise, the video might end up being too long. Um, but I'm gonna show you step by step what I did so you're not gonna miss anything. So first of all, let's start by hearing what we have right now. So let's start with the first sound um, and the first pattern that I have right here. The sound is a key caliber. You can find it in the kit, of course. This sound. So let's hear it. Pretty simple. These are the plugins that I used, the Fab Filter in order to cut the, the low hands, RC20 to add that vintage analog vibe, uh, and half time, one bar. This is how it sounds without the half time.
This is with the app time. Pretty cool. <laughs> then we have a uh, flute, snake flute in the kit. I just used the RC20 for this flute. These are the settings. Then I added this synth, the spooky synth. No plugin as it is. Then I play the real guitar uh, specifically. You can find it as a one shot in the kit, it's called the Spanish guitar. Keep in mind that a one shot is never gonna sound like a real guitar. My advice though, and this is something that you wanna keep in mind, is to use this settings. If you're using FL Studio in the envelope, copy these settings right here, because if you don't, the sound is gonna overlap, it's not gonna sound that good. If you use these settings, you're getting pretty close to the sound of an actual guitar. Of course, it's never going to sound like an actual guitar because you have, you know, the accents when you move the end uh, around the strings. You're never going to get that with a, with a one shot, but you're going to get pretty close in terms of the overall sound. So copy these settings and you're good. Then moving on, I exported everything. So I exported all these uh, layers and I pitched it down one semitone. And then I also added a cassette plugin. It's the default preset. I just uh, turn down the static noise. Other than that, it's just uh, the default preset. And then I also added some drums just to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> Let's hear the final loop. This is the loop. This is the kit. I'm Paul Fix, and I'm out.